Hey folks, good morning. Michael Gar and I, Intercom Communications News Radio 1020 KDKA here in Green Tree. This is what we are going to do right after CBS Radio News at 5 a.m. We're going to give you the accurate of the forecast. It is windy, it is rainy, it is cold. We'll give you the latest and also take a look ahead with that accurate of the forecast as the holiday of Thanksgiving is just around the bend. Now, what are some of the major stories trending? Have you heard the story about the Argentine submarine that has gone missing? It has attempted to contact naval bases seven times. We'll give you details on that. And this nuclear commander is saying he would rule against an illegal strike from President Donald Trump. And the president tweeting that Hillary Clinton needs to get on with her life. She's a big loser. She responds by saying he's obsessed with tweeting. And between tweeting and golf, how does he get anything done? The world ranking, the United States now number six under President Trump. Fact, fiction, or fake news? And also, Robert Mugambe, acting president Zimbabwe, the current government that is saying we are going to take over, will decide his fate, whether he stays in place or not. So that's a big story trending out of that part of the world. Now, lighter side, what about Saturday Night Live last night, sparing no one, even former employee Senator Al Franken, and Chance the Rapper was hosting while Eminem was performing and Chance the Rapper did a parody of a great R&B band, kind of asking former President Barack Obama to get back into the game of politics. Pretty funny stuff. Now, on a sad note, David Cassidy, music icon, actor, son of Jack Cassidy and stepson of Smithton, Pennsylvania native Shirley Jones, he is clinging to life. His family is surrounding him in Florida. He is suffering from organ failure. And 64-year-old guitarist and founding member of ACDC, Malcolm Young, has died at the age of 64. Sports News, Penguins lose to Chicago. Pitt loses to Virginia Tech. While Penn State and Ohio State, Notre Dame were all winners. West Virginia lost to Texas. Steelers off today. Back in action a week from today against Green Bay. And they are racing for the championship NASCAR in Miami. Stay tuned for all of this and more today on Rob Pratt Sunday on KDKA. Good morning.